that fullness of joy. Fullness of joy. Tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God is another night. In the name of encounter. Right. To bring heaven down. And hey, to lose everything, mm. every kingdom of the enemy. Hey, God. So now, when we come together like this, the kingdom of the devil begins to shift. And the demons begin to run. run. The demons begin to shiver. Because they know that the name has been called. Yes. The name that is the name of the devil. I've been mentioned. I've been mentioned. That's the name that we are going to mention. Oh, Jesus. I will say when that name is it's mentioned. Every name begins Every to name power. Let God be that we will mention the name. That we will mention the name. That we will call upon that name of Jesus. Not that kingdom of the earth. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. That God he won that witch is. Mm. That witch is. That witch is. That witch is. To shake him. My head. That witch is. That witch is. That witch is. Wherever Jesus went, he was doing good. He was doing good. Wherever he went. There was miracle. miracle. So let me pray in the name of Jesus. I pray. That let that goodness of Jehovah be your Lord. 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 Let and we know that every Friday when we come together, God gives us his power and bless us that we will break down every work of the enemy. So tonight we have come once again to pray. To pray. We have come once again to bring heaven down. We have come once again Amen. that we will let the name of Jesus be lifted. We have come once again that as the promise of God says, that when his name is mentioned every new but we will mention that name and the kingdom of enemy will continue to bow and without wasting time i want us to listen to the word, little bit word of exaltation uh, you know we can bible says when you read first john chapter one i, I love that verse it mm. talks about the beginning as he goes further he says nothing that was made without was him. made in him all things were made oh, he says in the beginning was the word the that means that through the word that this world was created was created he says nothing was made without him that everything was made out of the way so when we listen to the word mm. it means that we we, we we bring god to ourselves mm. we bring jehovah within our midst and we allow jehovah to take over and so when we call then heaven will hear and heaven will, will begin to act. Mm -hmm. So without wasting time, I will ask my old man and my old brother, uh, Pastor Senior Pastor, Pastor Steve Granting Senior, to come and lead us and give us a word and we will stand upon it and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Until you in my life. 
and his wife Jezebel. My brother, my sister, at times people forget that every human being created in the image of God, you have something that somebody may envy or may cherish. Oh, Jesus. You have something within your life that somebody will look when either it is by them or it brings jealousy. It's two things. My prayer is that you realize that God created you very uniquely. Every human being on earth, you were created uniquely. You were different from uh, each other. Just by that, we all have eyes. We all have nose. We all have legs. We all have everything in common. But believe you me, we are not created the same. We are created uniquely. You are different from me. And so you have something that I may not have. And I have something that you may not have. I pray that everything that God has endowed you or given to you, that the Spirit of God will protect it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says that a man called Nabot was given a vineyard. And that vineyard was in the city, in the city of the town. Amen. And that vineyard was given to him. It was a family in other towns that passed onto him. And so, it was something that was dear to him. Let me ask you a question. A child of God, a woman, let me ask you, in your life, what is dear to you? There may be something that is dear to you. And the enemy will always try to take something that is dear to your life away from you. And my prayer is that you'll be able to protect it. Oh, Jesus. Again, my prayer is that you'll be able to protect it. The only one that can protect it for you is the Lord Jesus Christ. It's the Lord Jesus Christ. Nabot had the variant. Let's go to 1 Kings chapter 21. And we read from verse 1 to 3. Verse 1 to 3. 1 Kings chapter 21. And let's hear about a different yard. If you are just joining us, I am talking about protecting the vineyard of your life, your destiny. Your vineyard can be your life, your destiny. It can be an inheritance. First King. First Kings chapter 21. Chapter 21. And the verse 1 to 3. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's hear the word of God. First Kings chapter 21 and verse 1 going. And it came to pass after these things that Naboth, the Jerusalemite, had a vineyard which was in Israel, mm -hmm. next to the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. Mm -hmm. So I spoke to Naboth, saying, Give me your vineyard, that I may have it for a vegetable garden, mm -hmm. because it is near, next to my house. Uh, my house. For it will give you a fine yard better than it. Or if it seems good to you, if it seems good to you, I'll give you its wealth and money. Money. But Nabo said to Ahab, mm -hmm. The Lord forbid that I should give the inheritance of my father to you. Amen. Amen. I pray that you will not sell the, the inheritance of your fathers, your forefathers, to an enemy. Hallelujah. Amen. I have a friend who the father died and is inheriting many properties. The ones told me that he was going to sell it and leave rich. You see, inheritance are valuable mm. that passes from generation to generation can be your character, can be your worship, it's your destiny that God has given to you. The Bible says that in Samaria there was a king called Ahab and Ahab one had a palace where he lived and next to his palace was a vineyard that belongs to a man called Naboth. Woman, listen to me, a child, listen to me. Mm. Your destiny and your life is closer to somebody. And that person, when he looks to your life, may think that if he, 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 he was supposed to have that happen, 
he, he or she who was supposed to have that wife was supposed to have that child they were supposed to have something that was dear to you Amen. my prayer is that you realize that whatever God has been given to you you have been entrusted with that thing Amen. and you will be able to protect it in the name of Jesus as well for welcome Hallelujah. Amen. It is my prayer that anything that God has entrusted mm. to you, you will be vigilant, prove and protect it. Amen. Because there is somebody somewhere who wish had the husband, had the wife, had that child. And uh, you see, there are many people whom God has entrusted many things in, into their lives, but they don't know what, what they have. Now God via was closer to Ahab. And Ahab one day woke up and said, Ah, I wish the fire belongs to me. I could have used it for this. But Ahab never thought of it that Nabot also had a purpose for that fire. Oh, yeah, yes. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. that every purpose of your life will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. The every purpose of God for your life will, will be fulfilled on this earth in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. So I was reading a, a book and what the writer said, this, uh, this book, Kneeling Christian, a Kneeling Christian, and then the writer was saying, one of the things that many people will regret when we get to heaven is the wasted time that we waste without praying. Mm. I will waste our time waste our giving time. excuses oh, Jesus. And, 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 and always blaming. My brother, my sister, never allow any valuable time, any valuable thing, anything in your life to be wasted. Mm. And so the king one day stood up, waited to uh, Naboth and said, I need your fire. Give me your fire because I, uh, I know that when you give me that fire, I can use it. For this, and so I will give you money twice. And the king was ready to give everything, praying to protect your vineyard, the vineyard of your life, Amen. the vineyard of your family. Mm -hmm. There are many women that God has given you a family, have given you a marriage, a money to protect, but they, they are not ready. There are also many men that God has given you a home, a home. A man is the head of the family. And but because the enemy will come and present a fire that does not belong to you, that is not worth to your own. And if you don't take it, you will trade him by the time you realize there will be a regret. But now what was somebody who knew the purpose of the, the fire and who came? The fire, the value of the fire. And so the Bible said, I have told him, I'll give you verse 2. He said that, and I have speak to Naboth, saying, Give me the fire that I may have it for a garden of herbs, because it is near to my house. I will give thee for a better fire than this. So if it seems good to thee, I will give thee the worth of its money. Better than I am of Jesus. But the Bible says, Naboth said, No, God forbid that I will pass my inheritance. Woman, listen to me, child, listen to me. Man of God, listen to me. And never pass an inheritance that God has endowed in you to the enemy. Hey, it's all made the same mistake. It's all made the same mistake by the time he realized he was crying before his father Isaac. And he asked his father, Don't you have any blessing left for me? And I know it's always a class. Oh, My prayer for you that you'll be able to guide everything that God has given up to you. The enemy is always seeking to take your fire from your, your life. Your fire. But the God who created heaven, Jesus and I am with you to the end of the world. Oh, he went before the Israelites in day by pillar of clouds and night by fire. If you allow yourself, you see the glory of God. This man, this king went home. And was angry and could not eat. Woman, listen to me, a child of God, listen to me. There is something that you have that somebody wishes that because of you. People go home crying. People go home 
and they can sleep. You may not have any idea how many people are having sleepless nights because of you and something that you're doing with your life. Oh, Jesus. You may not have any idea. But my prayer is that you will be filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm. No weapon, the Bible said, no weapon that was formed against us shall prosper. Mm. But I was telling somebody today, say, listen, that, that scripture is there for the righteous. That scripture is there for the righteous. Go and read Isaiah 50, Isaiah 54, and read verse 14. It says, In righteousness, you shall be established. And let me go and read it, and, 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 and you will come back. Isaiah 54. Isaiah 54. And let me read verse 14. And listen, somebody. He said that in righteousness, that shall be established. And that shall be far from oppression. Mm. Immediately you begin to walk in righteousness. My brother, my sister, heaven will be standing with you. Mm. If you if you set yourself apart for God, heaven will stand tall with you and you will win every battle of life. The Bible says oppression will be far. Because of righteousness, oppression will be far mm. from you. And say that thou shalt not fear and from the terror, for thou shalt not come near thee. The evil terror will not come near thee. And it continues to say they will gather together. Meaning that there shall all surely be some people who will gather with them. You, yes. They will gather against you. Someone will gather against you. There are people who are looking for your vineyard. The vineyard, the vineyard can be your wife. Somebody has a certain that planning to destroy that marriage. Hey, woman, listen, you have a treasure. Man, listen, that man in that home is a treasure. That woman oh, is a treasure. Jesus. I pray that you, you know. The Bible says that, that, that I have went home and, and, and he had sleepless night. Go, let's read verse 4. Read verse 4 for me also. Four. Read verse 4. And the verse four. Verse four. So I went into his house, mm -hmm. sullen and displeased, because of the way which Nabot the Jezreelite has spoken to him, for he has said, "I will not give you the inheritance of my father." I will not give you the inheritance. And he lay down on his bed mm. and turned away his face mm. and would eat no food. Amen. So can you put on the air condition for his sense? It's getting hot here. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, put on the front for me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And Bible said, I have went home, had sleepless night. I pray that everyone that is having a sleepless night because of something that God has given to you, that door that God has opened unto you, may the angel of the Lord strike them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May their counsel be like the counsel of Ayutofel. In the name of Jesus. May they come to nothing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He went home and he could not eat because of Nabot's fire. Somebody is having sleepless night because of that marriage. Mm. Because of that man. Because of where you are going. And you know somebody is having sleepless night because of this ministry. Yes. Somebody is having sleepless night. Oh. Somebody is having sleepless night because of that job. That child, when they see that children, there is somebody, somebody get angry with him, it's on his spirit. My prayer is that every branch of the enemy, the Bible says they shall gather together, and the Lord say it is not of me. And he continues to say, I created a smith, and who will forge a weapon, and no weapon, no weapon of the enemy. If only you walk in righteousness, they will, they will, they will set up their weapons, and they will not prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That comes. <laughs> Ahab's wife came to the house and saw that the king was having a sleepless night. Mm. The king could not eat. The king could not sleep. Nothing was making him happy. And the woman asked, Honey, what is the reason of your sorrow? What is your problem? My brother, my sister, listen to me. The enemy will always find people who will come together to destroy the life that God has given to you. Oh, Jesus. The home that God has given to you. Oh, Jesus. The ministry, the job. Yeah. Yeah. There are some people, they are bad working in life. They have plans, but the plans can never be established. Because anytime the enemy will send some people into your life, when you are gathering, they are scattering. I pray that the Lord will make them out. That I am for you to win this battle of life, mm. protecting the vineyard of your life 
and your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. God has a purpose for your life. God has a purpose. I say Jesus has a purpose for your life. Hallelujah. Amen. The wife came and said, Ah, I have a plan. Don't, don't, don't talk. Don't, don't cry. Are you not the king of the land? Everything is in your power. Yes, he was the king of the king of that nation. But the land did not belong to him. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. My brother, my sister, your life does not belong to anybody. It belongs to you. Mm. You alone. If then you, you, you allow it to be destroyed or you hold it together in the power of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, in the same spirit that let the Christ of the cross in us, in the same spirit will quicken us. You can only be quickened through the Holy Ghost and the power of God. Jesus told them not to leave Jerusalem. Why? He told them that they will be endowed with power from on high. The promise of the Father. And the Bible says, at the day of the day of Pentecost, the, the power of God came upon them and they were empowered. I pray that you will be empowered in the name of Jesus. to destroy. The, the, the woman came, Jezebel came. He said, But Jezebel, his wife came and said unto me, Why is thy spirit so sad? Mm. Verse 5. Thou, thou, it's no great. Because of the ritualist, let's wait for me. We continue. Uh -huh. He says, Jezebel's made a plot. Uh -huh. That's fine. But Jezebel, his wife, came to him and said to him, Why is your spirit so solemn that you eat no food? Uh -huh. He said to her, Because I spoke to Nabeth the Je Jerusalem, Jezebel, Jezebel, uh -huh. and said to me, him, Give me your vineyard. Give me your vineyard. Or else, if it pleases you, I will give you another vineyard for it. And he answered, I will not give you my vineyard. Then Jesus and his wife said to him, mm. You now exercise authority over Israel. Mm. Arise, eat, and let your heart be cheerful. I will give you the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreel. Mm. Amen. Amen. Verse 8. And he wrote a letter in Ahab's name. And sealed them with his seal, and sent the letter to the elders and the nobles who were dwelling in the city with Nabal. Verse 9. Mm -hmm. She wrote in the letter saying, Proclaim a fast, and sit Nabal with high honor among the people, and sit two men, scoundrels, before him, mm -hmm. to bear witness against him, saying, He has blasphemed God Amen. and the king. Then take him out mm. and stone him that he may die. Amen. Now you continue. See, I pray that somebody will you understand. The Bible says that this woman asked them, them to proclaim a fast. And so they, they were they, they were were were, were uh, fasting without food. There are some people who were fasting to destroy somebody. Mm. My prayer is that my woman, listen to the child of God, listen to me. I pray that you will never be a big Christian, a lukewarm Christian. Amen. There are many, many, the Bible says in 2 Timothy 3 and 5 that there are many that have formed godliness but deny the power of the world because the Bible says for a rest of not against flesh and blood but against principalities. Against power, spiritual forces that are wicked. Oh, Jesus. But the good news is that the Bible says, though we walk in the flesh, our weapons, they are not carnal. But they, they are mighty, mighty through God, God to, to the, the pulling down of every stronghold. And everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And so if you allow yourself to be taken over by the Spirit of God, mm. hey, Daniel went to the same thing. Daniel went through. The when you read Daniel chapter 6, the, the people never had anything against Daniel, but they had to lie against Daniel. But with Daniel, God saved Daniel. God saved Daniel. Joseph was lied about by the wife of Potiphar. But uh, Joseph, the Bible says, even in prison, God was with Joseph. God was with Joseph. And so the difference between Ahab and Joseph and uh, Daniel and, and Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego was that these people, they knew their God. They knew their God. They knew their God. If you know your God and you walk with God, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Amen. Let's say these people were fasting. And said, Boy, you wrote a, she wrote a letter, sealed the letter, and gave it to them to go and give to the nobles, 
set Nabotkins before them and lied over Nabot. Verse 13, read verse 13 and see how they lied. There are people, always the devil will have people that will fight against you. Protecting your mind. Right? Verse, verse 13. Verse 13. I read. And two men, and two men, scoundrels, uh -huh. came in and sat be before him. Uh -huh. And the, scon the scoundrels witnessed against him. Against Nabot in the presence mm. of the people, saying, Nabot had blasphemed God and the king. Then they took him out of the city out. and stoned him, and stoned him. him so that he died. He died. Very sad. Nabot did nothing. There are many men and women of God that are dying in the Christian dome. Mm. Not because of their sin. Not because of anything. But because of their faith. Because of where they are now. Because they have denied the world. And they are holding. Oh, Jesus. There are many lies around. At times you go and you hear what people are saying. At times you hear what people are saying. At times, if you don't take care, your heart will be sudden. But the Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. Oh, Jesus. You continue to abound in that grace. Mm. The Bible says, says that this is the mystery that was hidden from ages, which is Christ in you. The hope of glory. The hope of glory. Because of Christ, Paul said to live. It's Christ and to die is gain. Yes, yes. I pray that you will understand the secret yes, to the kingdom of God. That everything rests on the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Everything rests on the Lord Jesus Christ. Really rest Woman, on listen to me, child of God, listen to me. The Lord will never forsake you. You will not die. The Lord will send his angel to protect you. Mm -hmm. they, they fasted and set Nabot. Unfortunately, they were able to kill Nabot. They killed Nabot, they oh, stole Nabot. Jesus. And Nabot died. Somebody who had done nothing wrong. All because of oh, his violence. Yeah. Woman, listen to me. Maybe you, you are you think that uh, Nabot fire was a land. But your fire is that marriage. Your fire is that child. Your fire is the husband. The, your fire is the wife. You don't treasure. You don't treasure. You know, you don't know what you have. I pray that you understand. In the name of Jesus. Hey, there are some women they are more than gold. Mm. There are some men they are more than gold or so forth. Mm. There are some men they are more than gold. Yes. When they are in your life, hey, you forward ever backwards never. Backwards never. And so I every day say it saddens my heart if I hear a man who started life with nothing mm. and God has blessed that man. And after God blessing you, you begin to find the hard wives to that wife. And it's a silence by heart. Because there are some women when they start life with you, you get to the top. You get to the top. I pray that, that you know the, the kind of fire that God has given to you. Mm. My brother, my sister, it's all about the Lord Jesus Christ. They set him and killed him. He died for, for not doing anything. He, he did not commit any sin. The sin that he committed was that he did not give his treasure to protect his, his inheritance. His inheritance. May the Lord God Almighty help us. Amen. And the Lord open the heavens unto us. Lord, prepare me oh, to be a sanctuary pure and holy tried and true tried and true Yeah. 
they find doctors and go and have the mm. depression. But the child of God yes. is the enemy's plan mm. to keep you from oh, the faith. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You Amen. become depressed. Uh-huh. You know, it, it looks as if there's the pain on you. Heaviness on you. My God. Hallelujah. Amen. My God. We want to intercede yeah, for the children of God. Jesus. As you are watching us, oh, I God. want you to open up. Oh. Maybe, maybe God has been good with, with you. So things are going well. So I want you to come out, come out from yourself. Mm. And we want to pray for the children of God. Those who have been depressed mm. or pressed want to pray and break it out from their way. Mm. That they will stand tall in their spirit. In their spirit. Oh, and in their faith and worship God oh, than ever before. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. 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 We lift up. We lift up. We lift up. We lift The children of God. The children of God. Children of God. Children of God. We lift up. 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 With depression, with depression, oppression, oppression, just to kick them, to kick them from their faith, from their faith, from their faith, from their faith. From their faith. Father, Father, tonight, tonight, in the spirit, in the spirit of oppression, of oppression, of depression, of depression, that is fighting, that is fighting, against the children of God, against the, the children of God, against the children of God, tonight, 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 we set forth, we set forth. I am a 
has a spirit of fear oh, Jesus. and a spirit of boldness oh, and of sound mind. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 He said he has not given us the spirit of fear. Oh, Jesus. And that scripture also said he has not given us the spirit of timidity. timidity yes. Hallelujah. Amen. God has not given us the spirit of fear. Oh, Jesus. We see that this scripture play in, 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 in the life of Nabo. Yes. When the king asked him, the Lusania, he said, King, no, this one you not get it. Oh, Jehovah. Without due respect, mm. you are the king, you are the boss. Mm. But let me tell you my peace of mind. Mm. Never did not say, Oh, the king has said it all. <laughs> the king is so powerful. Yes. Nobody didn't think about that. Oh, that the king can say, can do him something. Yeah. But all that he said, he said, King, you can't get it. You can't you not get it. You can't get it. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Today we want to pray. Amen. We are praying for the body of Christ. Amen. That the body of Christ will rise up. Mm. The body of Christ will stand. Oh, Jesus. That today you could see great, great men of God. That most of us or people are, are looking up to. Mm. They are crumbling before politicians. Oh, yes. oh, Jesus. Politicians are doing the same thing. That is scattering people. Mm. But yes, you see that they become, uh, you know, uh, uh, praise, they be president. Mm. I seem like they can't say anything. Mm. Amen. 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 We, want, we want to pray, we want to pray, we want to ask God. We mm. want the John the Baptist, you know, spirit Amen. in this oh, 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 The oh. spirit of Elijah. Oh, is oh, the Jesus. Now, people that are filled with power, mm. people power. that are bold. Yes, we that, that yes, don't yes, fear yes, anything. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, because he said he has given us, he has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of boldness. The spirit of boldness that we can reach for. Hallelujah. That we will look at the king, we will look at the president, and tell him what our peace of mind, and tell him what the spirit of God is saying. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. 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 Jehovah God. Jehovah God. Jehovah God. Jehovah God. We pray. We pray. For the body of Christ. We are asking. We are asking. The spirit of God. 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 Now we can declare. Now we can declare. The mind of God. The mind of God. We respect Him. Whoever, whoever that we need to speak to, that we need to speak who to. declare the mind of God to, the of God. to them, to them. We got no power that we have done. We got no power we have done. Who speak boldly? We speak boldly. Who speak boldly? We speak boldly. For the word of God says, for the word of God, you are not giving us the spirit of fear, the spirit of fear, by the spirit of boldness, the spirit of boldness, the spirit of boldness. So Father, so Father, tonight. We pray, we pray the spirit of Elijah, the spirit of, the spirit of John the Baptist, the spirit of John upon us, upon, us. upon the people of God, upon the people in the name of Jesus. In the name of Shall we pray the name of Jesus? <laughs> Oh, 
Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. 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 Because God we as individual, individual. and we are unique mm. with the different features. Features, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So somebody who has the third eye, mm. when he sees you, say no, uh -huh. this thing. Uh -huh. Either I will take you from him or I will destroy him. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved, what do you have? What, what do you have? What have you have in your bosom? Mm. Amen. Amen. Obi Piana de Nebrio. Oh, yes, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And then you pray. 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 All right, yes. All right, yes. Obi Piana. Let me pray. Let me pray. Let me pray.
Sitting down, and then someone also came and sit beside me. Mm. So we were sitting down. We are waiting. Mm. Then before we see somebody running, then when he come down, he say, oh, "Come yes, we, 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 we stand there." But when the but the moment the person gets into the place, mm. then the voice of God told me that you see, he has been late for three hours. Mm. Mm. Three hours. Jesus. And I had it clear three hours. So when he came, we could not have the time enough now. Then it's okay, we we'll worship them, but then we we'll start praying them praises. And it's the praises that I wake up with the praises. Mm. When I wake up, I was, I was singing the song that we were singing in the dream. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And I said, God. Have mercy on us. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Brother, I want us to pray for this. Yeah, oh, no, Jesus. And, 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 and I want to encourage. I know that you guys are doing your prayer. Yes, you know, so, so, talk to me, man. But I want, I want us to talk move to, to another level. Tell no, 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 thank you. Some delays. That's mm. right, that's right. There's something going on. Three, three years delay. Three years delay. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to pray and break any spirit of delay. The Bible says, when Moses went to the mountain, mm. and whilst he kept delay in coming, the Bible says the people are down there. They went to Aaron and said, Aaron, at this moment, we don't know what has happened to him. Jesus. Just do something for us. Mm. Because the people saw delay. Delay. They could not wait. They could not wait. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you see, when, when delay has set in, then frustration sets in. Frustration sets in, yes. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Amen. 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 But we want to pray. Because at the end of the day, I woke up with a praise. With a praise. Hallelujah. I take on a table. Let's lift up our voice and let's pray. Because I pray, 
again. We will wake up with a praise. We wake up with a praise. We wake up from the sleep with praise. We wake up from the sleep with praise. We wake up from the sleep with praise. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. To Jehovah God. To Jehovah God. We know. We know that you have given us victory. You have given us victory. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And the praise that I wake up with. Oh. We say. Uh, Jesus Christ. 
that every day tell people that one day we will meet our God. The Bible says, well, we don't know what we will be, but one thing we know, that when we, we see him, we will be like him. We will be like Jesus Christ, and that is our hope. Hey, we never end our broadcast without giving somebody the opportunity to accept Christ as sins or a personal savior. We want to invite you. If you don't have a church, if you don't have a place that you go home and you live around Houston, Texas, and you're looking for a place, a place that is filled with the Spirit of God, that the power of God is coming and worship with us. Say this after say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Today. today. Then you say, I. Then you mention your name, Stephen, Rebecca. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Father, your word says, Father, your word says, if anybody be in you, he's a new creature. New All things are past, and everything has become new. Everything has become As I have accepted you, I've accepted and become new in you. Become new in you. May you order my step. May you, order my step. May you lead me Amen. until you come. Until you come. Or call me from this earth. Call me from this in earth. Jesus, name. Jesus name. Amen. God bless you, a child of God, wherever you are. We invite you to come and worship us. With us Sunday, we meet here at nine thirty, and by nine thirty. And then our Bible study starts from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock. And our first time, the church service 10 to 12. It's central time, central time. You said we have central time. And so it's central time. Sunday, come and fellowship with us. If you are looking for our address, look at the screen. The screen is always there. It's 14113 South Main, Houston, Texas. And the zip code is 77035. Again, 14113 South Main. The South Main is also called the, the 90. The 90. Okay. Uh -huh. It's the 90. The 90. South Main. The 90 and Haycroft. The easiest way to find is 90 and Haycroft. You find a gas station. In Ghana will say petrol station. In America will say gas station. In the gas station, you will find us. Come and fellowship with us. Again, God bless you. Also for Apostle of Prayer, Reverend Daniel Hammond, for that in time and intensive prayer for the Church of God. We also love our listeners, our dear ones that God has given to us. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. We love you. Without you, our ministry goes nowhere. You support us. Share for us. Share on your page. You can host it and watch. You just host it for us. That somebody will also benefit. God bless you. Amen. There shall be showers of blessings. This is a promise of God. There shall be seasons the flesh sent from the Savior. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you.